I want to show something here because you're a data guys, businessman. Uh, you know, we drug. like data, right? Yeah. So I said, guys, January 13, when we did the podcast, how many Twitter followers did Vivek have? I don't know if you know how many you had. I don't. You were no. around 113,000. Rob, if we can pull this up. Then I said, I want us to compare him versus all the other Republican candidates who's performed the best plus minus. You know we like plus minus. Of course. By the number of followers and percentage wise, here's what it looks like. Rob, if you want to pull it up. Here's what we found out, okay? Here's what we found out. At the bottom, this is very confusing when you look at this, Mike Pence, the former vice president, when he started January 13, when you were on the podcast, he had 5.83 million followers. He today is at 5.7. The only candidate whose followership went down, 2.2%. <laughs> so people said, don't run, go home, we don't want you. I'm just giving you data. Governor Christie went from 843 to 875, roughly a 4% increase. You got Tim Scott went from 709 to 760. That's a 7% increase. Nikki Haley went from 849 followers to 939, 10% increase. You got Governor DeSantis. We wanted to make sure we get both of his accounts. His governor account went up 15%. His personal account went up 31%. You got Tim Scott's personal account that he created went up 180%. But you went from 174,000 followers to 857, 392%. <laughs> A followership, and by the way, the reason why I'm showing this is because this doesn't happen accidentally. I see you all over the place, sitting down talking to people, people who like you, people who don't like you, yet you're respectful, you're confident, you're poised. There's something America loves about you.